Hello everyone, today we are here to talk about A24's newest suspense thriller, also known as the complete and utter annihilation of all religion as we know it. Are you ready to have everything you ever thought you knew, everything you were ever raised to believe, all destroyed within but a second? Pray all you want to whatever god, force, or entity you believe in. Because guess what? The only one listening is Hugh Grant. Because that's right, everyone. Today, we are talking about... Heretic. Heretic follows the story of sisters Barnes and Paxton, two Mormon missionaries spreading the good word. Along the way, they discuss deep philosophical concepts, such as condoms, jizz, and South Park. That is, until fate brings them to Hugh Grant's door, the one guy in the world who signed up to have the missionaries come to his house. After a short conversation, Hugh Grant invites them in. Seeing that they're nervous about going into a stranger's house, he assures them, Don't worry. There's blueberry pie. Now that he has them inside, he starts asking the real questions about Mormonism, about all religion. He points out the contradictions of religion, the similarities between the mainstream ones. He's busting out Monopoly boards. He looks them right in the eye and says, Mormonism is the Bob Ross edition. It is about as intense as a philosophical conversation about belief and religion can be, with a great performance by Hugh Grant and the Missionary Girls. This is also by far the best part of the movie. This short 20 to 30 minutes or so is really well acted and very interesting to watch. You keep asking yourself, where's it gonna go? This mystery's fantastic. What is this guy trying to prove? And ultimately, that is the question of the movie. What is Hugh Grant doing all of this for? Is he just a dick? Is he trying to experiment like they keep hinting at throughout the movie? What does blueberry pie have to do with everything? Well, get ready, because once it gets into the second act, this is A24 after after all, so it's gotta get weird with things. Because in the second act, Hugh Grant locks them in his basement, and it, it kind of becomes like an escape room out of nowhere. They have to figure out how to get out of there while he's watching, and, and he just keeps sending old ladies who are bringing them blueberry pie, and they just eat the blueberry pie, and he's like, do you like how she eats it? Do you, do you think, would you like some pie? And he's speaking on intercom the whole time. Would you like, uh, why don't you cut yourself a slice? He keeps doing these wacky things because ultimately he's testing their faith and their common knowledge, wants to see how far they can get based off of faith alone while trying to show them evidence that contradicts their faith. Anytime they pass a test, they just find a door that leads them even deeper into this endless catacombs that he has beneath his house. I'll go ahead and give a spoiler alert now because the deeper she got is when the movie lost me more and more as it kept going. It just gets to a point of ridiculousness of how much is Hugh Grant really gonna go through just to prove a petty point to two teenage girls regardless of what his fucking intentions are they never explain it he's just a petty weird old man who's he has slaves he's like these are me prophets and he has these women locked up in cages and he'll just walk up like aren't they beautiful and they just cuts off her finger for no reason he's he's a psychopath the movie ending with sister paxton being the lone survivor but through faith she kills hugh grant and escapes a butterfly lands on her finger, letting her know that God's real and Mormonism is the truth, just like South Park said. Which is why, even though I had some nitpicks with the movie, I can appreciate a good film when I see one. So this movie gets an official, check it out in theaters, go pay full price, don't be a heretic, out of 10. Thanks for watching, everyone.